so I think something we do need to talk about, which I don't, I don't think we should answer the question because I always see the comments. You don't, cause you got a, so many of them, but yeah. everyone is so upset that they don't know what OB means. Yes. Every no time I comment, I, no one knows. And there was that Reddit article <laughs> I sent you that they, they think I don't know who you are. And then I think you're Odell yeah. Beckham, which was hilarious. Yeah. It is funny. Cause people know him as OBJ. Like nobody calls him OB. So the fact that people would, think that's the case it's it's funny you were cool we had a ping pong game i think i i came out the winner you did yeah you all right you want to know me. yeah <laughs> whatever, whatever. want to know i would take that whatever. so i actually won two medals there i, I got the <laughs> ping pong medal and and the basketball medal so i actually walked away with two medals out there a little fun fact Go away. <laughs> there was no medals. <laughs> that never happened. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, that was, that was awesome. And I mean, it, like from the beginning, you were real, like you were down to earth. Um, like we met at opening ceremonies when I came up to take a photo with you. Yeah. And yeah, you were one of like the, I mean, the biggest athletes that I met there that was just normal. Like Serena was not nice to me, which was really upsetting. But yeah. I almost had you coming out to yeah. fencing if you guys didn't have all your practices. Yeah, it was it was I wanted to support like literally every like uh, sporting event, but it was just so hard with like practice with and we stayed off like we stayed on a yacht like far out. So it was like a process. It's not like I'm not always telling you this. I mean, the beds were super uncomfortable in uh, yeah. in the dorms. So that wasn't great. The food was horrible. So it's not yeah. like you were really missing out on too much aside from being able to meet different athletes. Yeah. I actually saw your, or heard your other podcast, like McDonald's was your meal every day. Yeah. Cause I was getting, I was, <laughs> uh, I was getting sick every morning. I ate breakfast at the village twice. And I yeah. like, as an athlete, like, obviously like I'm, I'm careful what I'm putting in my body but I was nauseous to the point of I couldn't train. What about this engagement? Did she know it was coming? Did she know anything? I don't know how, I didn't know how to like propose. I didn't know what to do. Like what's the guidelines. Right. So I'm like Googling stuff like a couple <laughs> weeks in advance. Seriously, I'm like Googling stuff a couple weeks in advance. Like, all right, what's the best way to do this? How do you do it? Get into the topic of the episode. So um you had one of the most famous injuries from my understanding um you have your video has i think it was 16 million views the one that i saw there's also a slow motion one two slow motion ones um i'm gonna be honest i could not watch it bones breaking and that whole thing is like my weakness i can't i yeah. did read about the injury so i know it was your tibia and fibula right both of them just oh, <laughs> oh my god that's crazy that's crazy. So do you want to yeah. go back to that moment? I mean, I'm sure it's not a pleasant moment, but. Yeah. You know what? Honestly, it's, uh, I turned it into a positive because for so many reasons, it, it almost like, cause it, it's a staple to so many people. You know what I mean? Right. Like yeah. everyone, when that moment happened was like, Hey, I was doing this or I was there or I saw it when I was here or I was watching the game while I was doing this. Like everyone, it, it kind of resonates and it kind of is a staple to everyone that that moment that I, sh that, you know, for what it is, I shared with a lot of people. So, yeah. At that point, I don't know, you know, will I be the same player? Will I even play basketball again? Like I'm looking at my leg and it's like completely just shattered. You know what I mean? Um, so it was, it was definitely probably the darkest time of my life for sure. Okay, so how did you adapt your self-talk when you went back to playing after your injury? So, I mean, first and foremost, I had an unbelievable support and cast around me. Said I'm campaigning for fencing, though. We're, oh. we're going to work on the fencing. Perfect. For, uh, we need people like you. Me. Perfect. We need people like <laughs> you. We need to get you into a video of you fencing. That'd actually be pretty funny. Yeah, it helped when I understood, like, all right, injuries are part of sports. And right. I just, it just so happened to be my time. It was, 
it was tough because like it's so many people oh paul george is this like you know it's a bunch of stuff on the media like and it's like man if you only knew okay so what would you say were the most unexpected positives and negatives of the injury I feel that as well i yeah. if everyone's like oh you're gonna feel so much better you're like a new person no i i never felt like a new person i just feel yeah. less bad Right. <laughs> yeah, you just feel less bad. Exactly. That's exactly how to put it. You just feel less bad. Like even people like whenever I comment on your stuff, even people like respond to me giving you hate, which I never I also even get hate for being <laughs> friends with you. Like anytime I comment, it's like, oh, you're just trying to sleep with him. And I'm like, I'm literally just his friend. Uh, like, do you see that he follows me? Like th right. there's a reason behind that. If I was just trying to sleep with him we wouldn't like he also responds to me like do you not get it i right. got a comment the other day about you of like they're like oh like paul george yeah. told me what you guys did um he sucks by the way i was like you don't even follow me like why do you need to come yeah. and hate it's on me for being friends with somebody i don't get it like like that like people I, it's weird to me like that makes so people strange day. you know what i mean that like literally makes people day when they can just get on Instagram or get on Twitter and just talk mess and try to get under your skin. Like that yeah. makes them happy. It's a weird world on social media. Okay. So next we have rapid fire questions. So you ready for these? Ooh, fun part. Fun part. Yeah. Let's do it. What is your favorite cartoon character and why? Cause I'm sure you watch a lot of cartoons with your kids. No times. Well, 2021, we have a costume for Monica. I guess so. I, all right, yeah. we got two more for you. Where would you go if you were invisible? Answer for sure. That's a good one, actually. Thanks. I, I have an unfair advantage where I can think of my answer while you're talking. Yeah, that is a good one. Wow. Can I use that one? Can, I, can we share that one? Sure, we can share it. And our last one, also thought provoking, how do you self-sabotage? Well, that is all the questions that I have. Uh, do you want to announce any projects that you have coming out anytime soon? Do you want to tell people where to follow you? What you got? Um, yeah, you can follow me on all platforms. Uh, Instagram, it's YG Trace. Um, Twitter is YG underscore Trace. Uh, 